Hi, welcome to my channel. In this lesson, I will be teaching uh, another lesson in the Carnatic theory that is Swarasthanams. Swarasthanams are nothing but the swaras or the notes we have in our music which are similar to other styles of music that is Hindustani or Western music or any other style in the world. But the main difference in uh, Carnatic when compared to the other styles is that we have overlapping notes, more number of notes in within the same range. So that gives us a variety of uh, combinations in form of ragas. So as you all know we have the base seven notes which are Sari, Gama, Pada, Ni. There was a theory developed long back that we have we can have combinations of those uh, the minor notes and major notes like how we have in western music we can have 12 note system <coughs> but that was later changed by Sri Venkatamakin who introduced the 16 note system which is the currently used system of uh, notes in Carnatic music so that goes like this you have Sa and we have three Ri's, three Ga's, two Ma's, Pa, and then Da, we have three, Ni also three. So that will add up to 16 uh, Swarasthanams. The names of the seven notes are Shadjam, Rishabham, Gandharam, Madhyamam, Panchamam, Daivatam, and Nishadam. So these are the base basic notes without any variations. Now with all the variations it will be Shadjam, Shuddha Rishabham, Chatusruti Rishabham, Shatsruti Rishabham. So these are the three Rishabhams or three Rees. And then there is a Suddha Gandharam, Sadharana Gandharam, Antar Gandharam. Those are the three Gandharams or Gas. Then the two Mas are Suddha Madhyamam and Prati Madhyamam. And there is a Panchamam, which is only one. Three Daivatams, which are Suddha Daivatam, Chaturshruti Daivatam and Shatsruti Daivatam and three knees which are Suddha Nishadam, Kaisika Nishadam and Kakali Nishadam. So these are the 16 Swarasthanams in Carnatic music. Uh, conceptually there are some overlapping notes. It's not exactly 16 tones you can find from Sartani. There, there are some dependencies in this depending on the previous note and the following note some notes are given a different name I'll explain in detail now <coughs> let's say sa this is sa then sa that is Shadjamam and uh, Suddharishamam which is Sa and Ri1 that is fine now we have Sa Ri Ga you can see an increase in the tone from Ri to Ga Ri uh, that sound and Ga uh, so the gap the gap has passed, I mean the ga has had to pass all the other tones in between and reach that, that sound of the ga. Ga. <coughs> so 
So that ga is definitely not the very adjacent ga after ri. So ga, what I just sang is the third ga, which we usually call ga tri or antar gantaram, which is the ga that is uh, in Maya Mala Gaula. So this ga is right below ma. Ma ga. That Shuddha Madhyamam and this Antar Gandharam both are close to each other. So in between the Ri, that is Shet, uh, Chatur, sorry, Shuddha Rishabam and uh, Antar Gandharam, there are some, there are two more nodes. Those two are Ri two or Chatur Shuddha Rishabam and Ga two or Sadhana Gandharam. Then you must be thinking where has the third ray and the other ga gone the re to or the chatursriti rishabam will also be called as ga one in some circumstances so those two are overlapping nodes so shuddha rishabam is only one there is no overlapping node on that but Chaturshrita Rishabham is also called Shuddha Gandharam in some circumstances. Now, after the Chaturshrita Rishabham or Shuddha Gandharam or Ritu or Gavan, we have the next note that is Gatu or Ritri, which is a Sadharna Gandharam or Shatsruti Rishabham. The names will be slightly confusing. If you write these in order, you'll get a better understanding. I'll dictate what I've just said, then you can write down easier and it will be easier for you to understand. So there is Sa, Ri1, then Ri2 or Gavan, and then Ri3 or ga two, and then you have ga three. So for the sake of uh, ease, I'm just using uh, the number suffix instead of the the actual names. Once you get used to the names, you can use them in your usage. So, shadjamam, shuddhari shabam, chaturshrithari shabam, or uh, uh, Shuddha Gandharam, then Sadhana Gandharam or Shatsruti Rishabham, and then Antar Gandharam, and then Shuddha Madhyamam. Sa, Ri1, Ri2 or Gavan, Ga2 or Ri3, Ga3, Ma1. So we have covered all the nodes from Sa to Mahavan now. And then after Mahavan, which is Shuddha Madhyamam, we have Prati Madhyamam. After Prati Madhyamam, we have Panchamam. After Pa, it follows a similar uh, pattern from Sa to Ma, whatever we had. Similar pattern with Pa to the Haisa. So Panchamam, after Pa, we have Dhavan, Suddha Devatam, which is Pada. <coughs> then Chatusuddha Devatam, which is also Suddha Nishadam, or Dhatu, or Nivan. Pada is Pa and Dhavan. Then you have Dhatu or Nivan, which are Chatsudhayatam and Shuddha Nishadam. Then after that you have uh, Kaishika Nishadam or Shatsruti Daivatam, which are Nitu or Dhatri. So those are also overlapping nodes. And then you have the Ni3, which is the Kakali Nishadam, the biggest of all the knees, the third knee which is right below Sa. 
Padani Padani Sa <coughs> So I'll demonstrate all these notes with surrounding notes for your understanding Sarigama This is Shajam Sudarishabam Antargandharam Sudamajivam Sarigama Shajam Sudarishabam Sadarnagandharam Sudamajivam Sarigama Shadjam Sudhrishabam Sudhakandharam Sudhamajamam That is the order in which I sang was uh, Sa Re One Ga Three Mama Sa Re One Ga Two Mama Sa Re One Ga One Mama Sa Re Ga so that is Re2 or Gavan, it sounds uh, as a different weird note. It's uh, the Suddha Gandhara. The reason why these notes have been overlapped, and the overlapped na uh, notes have been given different names are due to the due to some of the rules of the Melakartha system. Melakarthas, which are the 72 root ragas of Carnatic music, have some rules, one of which is that you can't have two notes of the same kind in a Melakartha raga. But there are Melakarthas which have Sariga, these three consecutive notes, which is Sa, Re1, and Re2. Because of the naming convention, the re2 has been given a name gavan or the chatrasrita rishabam instead of that it's been given a name suddha gandharam similarly for re3 and ni1 da3 as well okay i'll demonstrate the different gas now sorry different re's <coughs> Sarigama Sa That is Shadjam Sudharishabam Antargandharam Sudhamadhyam Sa Rivan Gatri Mavan And now Sarigama That is Shadjam Chatur Sudharishabam Antargandharam Sudhamadhyam Sari Gama Shadjam Shad Srutrishabam Antargandharam and Sudhamajabam. So that was Sa Ri One Ga Three Ma One Sa Ri Two Ga Three Ma One Sa Ri Three Ga Three Mawa. So the re three is again same as the sound of ga two, but because it's ga two, you can't have ga two, ga three, and ma one in a ragam according to the the rule from the seventy two Melakartha system. So that ga two has been given the name re three or shatsruti <coughs> rishabam. Now ma pratimajamam will be. Gama pa, gama pa. That's the difference between Shuddha Majam and Vithi Majam. First was Ma 1, second Ma 2. And then from Pa to Sa. Panchamam, Shuddha Dayavatam, Kakali Nishadam, Tarasthai Shajamam. Padani. That was Pa, Da, 1, and Ni, 3, Haisa. 
some some books and some notations they still try follow try to follow the 12 note system which is a bit confusing in my opinion because eventually everyone has to start learning the melakartha ragams and once you start knowing start to understand about the vivadi swarams or the these overlapping notes you will have to understand the 16 note system anyway so better uh, learn these notes instead of going to the 12 note system so <clears throat> now next is pa da one ni to sa that is panchamam suddha devatam kaishika nishadam and tarasthai shatjam pa da ni sa which is the the knee is slightly lower than kakala nishada that is knee three was pada ni sa pada ni sa this is pada one knee two and sa now coming to knee one which is suddha nishada or the sound of chaturshruti chaturshruti daivatam pada ni पंचमं चतुश्रुति दैवतम काकल निषादम तारस्थाय षट पद पंचम चतुश्रुति दैवतम काकल निषाद तारस्थाय षट pa da tri ni tri and sa pa da ni sa sa ni da pa so with these notes we can get many combinations it's just because of these like, 16 notes that we have the 72 melakartha ragams so uh, try to note this down from sa to ni try to understand And if you still get any doubts please feel free to leave comments and i'll try to reply as soon as i can and i'll meet you again in another lesson in this uh, theory concepts thanks for watching thank you